Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Rays of Hope from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you to pick up your copy of God's Word. Turn with me over to the book of James today. Uh, James chapter 1 verse 5. That's the light where we certainly find the rays of hope. God's Word. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together, have a wonderful encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, goodness. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day than a good fresh cup of hot coffee and getting into the truth of God's Word. Well, over here in the book of James, James chapter 1, verse 5, listen to what the Bible says. If any of you lack wisdom, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. And friend, I pray that God would add his blessings to the reading of that holy scripture on this beautiful day. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a devotional thought that I've titled Accepting Wise Counsel. Accepting Wise Counsel. You know, one of the most important things that you and I can do as children of God is to take heart in God's truth. God loves us to do that. In fact, God loves it when you go to him for direction. He never listens to your prayers for guidance with the attitude of you're foolish for asking this. My friend, God's never going to shame you for seeking his divine wisdom. But listen, your heavenly father always answers you as a patient teacher willing to instruct you as a cherished student. You see, he wants you to know his precious will, and he enables you to carry out that will. Now, you may be worried about hearing the Lord, but understand this, his ability to communicate can always overcome any inability that you may have to hear him. So if you don't understand God clearly, he will continue speaking to you using various methods. I tell everybody, first of all, he's going to use the word of the living God. And then he may speak through a small, still voice. Or then he may bring a message through a messenger. God has a way of getting his message across to you. My friend, as long as you follow God's guidance, he will continue to give you his wise counsel. And he will tell you not only what to do, but he'll tell you when to do it and how to do it. So be sure, listen, be sure to wait for the Lord to give you his full counsel and then accept his full counsel on whatever matters may concern you. And once you've heard from God, do what he tells you to do without doubt, or without hesitation. But friend, be for sure that it's God that's speaking to your heart. We all need his wisdom, and he should teach us the way that we need to go. And friend, we can place our trust in him, our hope in him. All we've got to do is accept his wise counsel. Pray with me. Father, today how I give you praise and thanks for your wise counsel. May we never abuse it. May we never misuse it. But may we have listening ears, an open heart, to do those things that you would have for us to do. And God, give us enough common sense to accept your wise counsel. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray you'll do just that and uh, do make a difference in your world today. Remember, your life can be the only Bible some will ever see Jesus through. So live in such a way that they'll be able to hear and see Jesus in all you say 
and in all that you do. God bless you now. Have a wonderful day.